What's going on, everybody? This is the Wheeze, and today we are going to be doing uh, Mike Tyson's Punch Out. Um, everybody that remembers uh, NES remembers Mike Tyson's Punch Out. Um, came out in 1987, and uh, once the deal with Mike Tyson had expired, Nintendo decided to opt out from renewing that deal. So then they created a fictional end boss called Mr. Dream, and they just originally, and then they renamed it just Punch Out without Mike Tyson in it. Um, as you can see from the cover, you, I got the actual Mike Tyson's punch out, which is what we're gonna be starting. Yeah, Mike is waiting for your challenge. So, as most people remember, I am, yep, that's right, copyright 1987. Um, the re-release wasn't until three years later with, um, in 1990. Now, as everybody remembers, I am Little Mac, and then and my opponent in this round is going to be Glass Joe. Now, if you can't defeat Glass Joe, you shouldn't even be playing uh, this game just because of the fact that Glass Joe is the easiest uh, character in this game, um, to the point where it's almost embarrassing. But, um, so... Some of the there's little ticks that Mike Tyson's punch out does um, with the opponents. Um, not so not so much with Glass Joe because you have to be the aggressor. Um, but in this case, with him, he just uh, try to uh, do his finisher. And if you notice the little second hesitation, I was able to give him a one-punch knockdown. Now you can see he's trying to be the aggressor and um, being able to dodge and he's giving me opportunities to uh, counter-punch him. And I'm getting a lot more hits on him because of the counter-punching. Yeah, there we go. Go down. But mostly some of the uh, other opponents, their ticks are going to be subtle, and I'll point out those ticks. Oh man, there we go. Uh, yeah, subtle, subtle ticks like maybe a head shake or their um, or their their uh, eyebrows will go up and down rapidly. Yeah, you know, stuff like that. Yep, round two. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Yeah. Now, most of you will probably notice that Little Mac is going to be doing a lot of punching from his left, uh, left hand. And because it's just because of the way my controller is configured to uh, the NES controller. Um, the left button, or the left hand button that I have is my uh, X button, which, because my controller is configured like a PlayStation 3 controller, the X button is used for PlayStation uh, as pretty much everything. The go-to, select, um, push to start, and usually the main button in a game. That's it! Round over, I win with a TKO. So yeah, just to show off. So that's why you'll be seeing a lot of um, left-handed punches, which I could do right-handed punches, but right now my finger is configured to my number three button or the X button on a regular PlayStation 3 controller. Now, this gentleman here, he does the head shake as his tick before a punch. But then he will um, crouch it down for um, an uppercut. 
Yeah, you really have to have a good hand-eye coordination for this game. Because if you don't, then you're just gonna pretty much get knocked out. Because that's the name of the, the name of this game is just dodge and like see there's his uh, crouch and I can be able to do a whole bunch of jabs to him. Get him! All right, that's two. Now if I get one more knockdown, then I win the the fight and I can go on to uh, the next guy. So we'll see how it goes. Shouldn't. There we go. That's it. I'm done. TKO. Hang on a second. Uh, yep. Going on to the title fight. Piston Honda. <laughs> if that isn't the most stereotypical Japanese name, I don't know what is. And that's the thing you'll notice about this game is that the names are very stereotypical. And he doesn't even look like he's Japanese either. He looks more Mexican to me. <laughs> Not, I mean, don't get me wrong. I enjoy... Um, I enjoy the game and some of the uh, little quirks from the time, but it definitely is not the best. Like right now, if you know this was sold in stores, you'd have people complaining about how the name is insensitive to Japanese people, which I don't understand why people would say that concerning the fact that the game was made by Japanese people. Nintendo is a Japanese company, so... Oh well. Now with this guy, as you can see, he, you know, you see, I've already knocked him down once. His ticks are his, eye, his eyebrows. Um, so, and his hooks, you know, you can see that he pulls back and that for a second and then uh, punches and then he'll crouch down like the previous character for his uppercuts. But in this case, I can only punch him twice when he's doing his jabs. About four or five times for hooks. Here we go. Ah, got him! He's just like Glass Joe. What he'll do is he will do his little jumping around, but then there's that split second before he starts punching. If you time it right, then you can get that one punch knockdown from him. So, as you can see, I have become the minor circuit champion, and we are going to go on a little training montage. <laughs> if anybody has ever watched 80s movies, you will pretty much know all about the mo training montage video. It's o it always happens in every 80s movie when there is a story about uh, the biggest one, Rockies. The Rocky movies, those are f infamous for training montage videos in the middle of the movie. Uh, Rocky 3, when he's training with um, Carl Weathers to um, when he's trained uh, so he can fight uh, Mr. T for the second time to get his title back. That right there is the stereotypical 80s training montage video. But now here we go with Don Flamingo. This guy is supposed to be an Italian. And his tell is he will taunt you. After you hit him, he will, uh, he will strike. But then you counter and you can pretty much decimate him. The problem is, is if you look in my uh, upper left hand corner where my where the hearts are, every time I attack him when he's blocking it decreases a heart. So it's, it's not, oh, it's not the, the most ideal strategy, but I mean, it, what are you going to do? You're going to stand there for three minutes until the round's over? No. 
come on. Of course, he's getting most of his health back. Get down. There we go, and I still have two hearts left. Yay. Now we're on to the next opponent, which is hilarious. He's definitely, uh, I, I could definitely tell that he was probably inspired by Butterbean. <laughs> King Hippo. You gotta love that tiny little crown that's on top of his head with that big giant mouth of his. Ooh, that was my ankle. Just heard a crack. More like a pop. Just like Knuckles. Come on. There we go. Yeah, his tail is you gotta hit him when he's got his mouth open, and then after that, you go for the body shot. Ooh. Ooh, ow! There we go. See what I'm talking about? You gotta have good hand-eye coordination for this. The thing with King Hippo, though, is that unlike all the other opponents, King Hippo, once you get him down, that's it. That's an automatic knockout. Just because of the fact that they portray him to be this big, fat guy who can't get up. But then again, he, if you don't know the tick to fight him, then he's going to be a challenge. Because pretty much he blocks everything. Um, so here we are with the Great Tiger. Now his is a uh, tail that you probably wouldn't even know if you weren't looking. His tail is in the jewel in his turban. And I can only hit him once with the after he jabs. Unless I wanna Ooh. Okay, I wasn't paying attention to the jewel. So, this guy, he's annoying just because his, um, his special punching sequence, it, he's considered to be, you know, magic, and he will do, like, some disappearing act and start floating around, and he will f fire off five punches before he becomes completely stunned so that way you can knock him out. Here we go. This is what, this is what I'm talking about. Three, four, five. But we're going to be going into the second round because he's going to get a, a health, bo health boost and there we go. Round two. Well, I must say, I'm doing a lot better uh, conversing and playing than I thought I'd be um, with when I did my Super Mario 3 video. I was... I did... I had nothing for you guys. I didn't have uh, anything to talk about. Um, I just recorded uh, Super Mario Bros. 1 after... You know, when I recorded Super Mario 3. And... I pretty much used up everything on Super Mario 1 and Super Mar and just pretty much didn't have anything for Super Mario 3, which is not cool for you guys because I don't think you just want to watch the videos. I think you want. I my ego says I want, I think you guys want to hear me talk, but no, I think you guys just really want to watch the videos in peace. <laughs> but it is what it is. If that was the case, then you can probably find some videos on YouTube with people that are not talking. Oh, see what I mean? Gotta pay attention. Ah! Not cool. Here 
we go again. Two, three, four, five. No! I, I ran out of hearts, that's why I couldn't attack. Don't be charmed by his magic punches. Yeah, we get that. So we're in the final round now. And he's got a sliver of hell. I should have been able to throw him out, but... So, here we go. Two, three, four, five. Come on, stay down. Stay down. Ah, oh, of course. That's two. As you can tell, I'm trying to concentrate uh, so that way I can uh, make it on to the next round. Or the next fight, excuse me. And that's it. Woo! tell you. So now we're in the title bout. Major circuit. And we're going up against Bald Bull. This guy is interesting. I mean, he's just a big giant dude. I mean, look at the size of... Uh, it looks like Andre the Giant type size. Yeah, his tail is his, is winding up the fists. And then before he does the hook, he pretty much brings his fists up. Whew. Yeah, he's, he's not an easy one, I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, my feet are getting sweaty and I'm on a, uh, um, I've got one of those rug protectors, which make me slide with my feet. Come on. Ah! Oh! oh, man. That is not cool. Alright, so he's knocked me down once. <sighs> Got him! Yeah, that one is all about timing, too. Like, holy crap. As you, as you saw the first time I tried to do it, it was like, he got me. Oh man. That one's a tough one. Zip your lip, Doc. Lil Mac is mine now. <laughs> I pee the fool. Doo doo. So who wants to tell me how much they enjoy Mario as the referee? Oh man. His uppercuts always get me. It's just because they're quick. He's knocked down now. Let's uh hopefully I can keep him down. Nope. Guess not. Of course he gets full health and I get pretty much a sliver back. Oh, come on, come on. 
Oh, I definitely didn't time that well. And I can't get up anymore. Well, sorry guys. I guess we'll try again next time. Uh, but for now, that's all I got for you. So we will see you next time. I'm going to save my progress uh, here so that um, we can try again uh, later uh, at another time. And hopefully I will have uh, bested Ball Bull. <laughs> so uh, this is the Wii's. Uh, if you want, you can uh, check out my... Still trying to get the angle of the finger going. Um, upper left-hand corner is uh, my handles for PSN and YouTube. Uh, if you want, you can uh, add me, uh, subscribe me, do what you want. Uh, I'm not really... Um, doing a whole lot of PlayStation Network stuff just because of the fact that I don't have PlayStation Plus at the moment um, as far as playing online. But, I mean, if you want to add me so that way uh, when I do get PlayStation Plus, you want to play, you know, that's cool. But, all right, so I will catch you guys later.